Hey guys, Enthusiast Adventure here. In my hand is the second thing Nick purchased when we went to Knife Works. Now, I like to get all like up close and personal with you guys. That's why I'm always like right here. Hey, how you doing? A little too close? How about now? Alright. In this box... Uh, hold on. You don't really need that. Victoria Knox Swiss Army. Boom. And I'll show you what's inside of it. That. But a picture isn't good enough, is it? No. Open the tin up. Throw that thing down, because I don't need it. This is like a compass type thing. It shows you compass crap. Stupid lighting crap. No one cares. Good stuff. Boom. Look at it. In all of its glory. Uh, the flashlight is brighter than bright. Now, it's getting dark outside, but let me just blind you guys with that light. I know people hate it when they watch videos and people do this. I'm just going to be super annoying right now. Okay, I'm done. This was technically five bucks. It also comes with a little, uh, not a leash, but a, a lanyard. Now the reason I'm telling you that this light was technically five dollars is because the knife was twenty. He bought the original Victoria Knox, which it has a little thing right there on it. He bought the original Victoria Knox knife for thirty dollars. He came back. We came back the next day and we found out that this was on sale for twenty-five. So he took in his other knife and he bought this the knife is really twenty dollars flashlight is about five so or it's free however you want to look at it so the blades on this thing i don't even know if i can get these things out Ugh. can opener and a flathead screwdriver it's the first thing we got on the list oh god i don't have any fingernails i bit it down i know that's gross but i bit it down to the ground um this has like a little sharp edge on it can opener good for you Okay, the next one is the hardest one to get out, and that is the leather awl, and it is sharper than hell. I almost cut myself. Look at that baby. Boom. It's sharp. And I'm not just saying look-wise. It is sharp. My brother cut his finger on it. He didn't even mean to. It just, like, it rubbed against him, and it cut him. And my hair looks great. I hate this. Look. I have to live with this because I got bangs last year, or a couple months ago in the winter. There's a month before school starts and this is still here. Seriously? Seriously? Anyway. Getting back to the knife. Who cares about my hair? The main blade on this baby. Bow, bow, bow. Watch out. Boom! There it is. Boom! Do it again. Wait, three times the charm. Boom! Alright, I'm being obnoxious. It's been a long day. Really, really nice <laughs> knife. Um, $25 for the knife and the flashlight. They both have the Victoria Knox on it. <clears throat> My voice is starting to go. Um, the Victoria Knox thing. That's rubber right here. This red piece is rubber. Nice grip on it. Solid, uh, solid knife and flashlight. You can, you can just feel it. Oh, I should also show you this. Boom, Victoria Knox, and it says... Patents pending. Yep. I'm not crazy. That's what it says. My hands are shaking. I need to eat. But, um, yeah. Beautiful knife. Beautiful knife. I, re I recommend it to anybody who's looking for a standard knife. Boy Scouts knife. It's perfect for that. Um, nothing too big. Nothing too small. The blade is basically the size of the toothpick knives that I was showing you. I don't want to cut my hand, so I'm pu pushing it like that. Alright, got it. Solid. Uh, it's got this little thing on here. You can put some rope, power cord, or whatever on it. Tie it to your neck. Perfect for your pocket. It's about about four inches long, this this piece right here. And this is about three inches, three and a half inches. Not exactly sure on that, so don't take my word for it exactly. Beautiful knife. And Nick got that because he originally, my cousin is 
technically type of, a type of like security guard kind of person. Not so much as he's not a certified security guard, but that's what he does. He regulates concerts and stuff like that. And they any knives that they find and stuff like that, some of them they're allowed to keep. And the one guy before we went in, he gave it to him. He said, "Here, look. This is an expensive knife, and if I can't have it, you better keep it. Don't give it away to somebody who doesn't, you know, doesn't deserve it." Screw this. I don't care. But um so he gave him that knife and then when we went to Virginia or Vermont when we went fishing on the fishing trip, he dropped it in the water. So he bought a new one. Victoria Knox, Swiss Army Victoria Knox. Great knife. I'll go pick one up. Thanks for watching my video. I'll see you guys in the next one.